Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to plan for next week, which is going to be the week from the 4th of March until the 11th, I think. So as you can see here, I have a little bit of damage on my planner. That's because I think, I, I didn't know this, this before, but I think my cat got into the planner and actually they like very much um, biting on cardboard. So I think that's why they kind of bit into my planner. Anyway, so I have been gone for a while, I think three weeks since I didn't plan on this planner here for work because I was on vacation. So I'm really excited to be back on this planner. Not so much to be back working because I think I needed a little bit more time to actually rest, but that's fine. We have to do what we have to do. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and go into the weeklies and I'm going to write down the meetings that I have. So for next week, I have quite a few meetings, especially on Monday, which is not great because um, I actually just got back into work and I didn't want to have so many meetings on the first day, but there's nothing I can do about that. So let me grab this and let's get going into Monday. Let me just check what kind of meetings I have on my phone. Okay, so first meeting is going to be at nine o'clock. I'm just going to write it down here. It's going to be a one hour meeting. Then I have one at 10 with a client. So this is a very important meeting. I'm not sure if we're going to have problems with this meeting or not, but I need to prepare for it. And then I have a meeting at 11 as well. Actually, I have two meetings, but I can't be on two meetings at the same time. So I'm going to choose one of them, which is not going to be my weekly team meeting. Anyway, so on Tuesday, I have a short meeting at 9.30. Then I have a one hour meeting at 10. And I have a one hour meeting at 11 as well. This day I was thinking about doing home office, but I think I'm just going to go into the office during the morning and then I'll come back um, during the lunch, during lunch. And because I have to get my passport done. On Wednesday, I have a meeting at nine as well, one hour meeting. And then at 11, I have another one hour meeting as well. And finally, at 1.30, I have another meeting. Then on Thursday, I have a meeting at 2 o'clock. And I think that's all of the meetings that I have this week, which is great. So on Friday, like always, I need to complete my electronic timesheet. So I'm just going to write here, complete ETS. Then let's go over the meetings that I have during the first half of the week. This one at nine o'clock is going to be a design review. So nine o'clock is going to be design review for our third test. So let me just write that here. And then at 10 o'clock, I have a meeting with a client about this third test. So we need to discuss a couple of details and we need to decide a very important point about this test. Then at 11, I have a hazard, which is going to be also 43068. On Tuesday, I have at 9.30, a update meeting for T1. At 10, I have my sprint planning for this project here which is going to be the 068. And at 11, I have a workload revision for the entire team. At 1.30, I have my usual deliverables uh, meeting. We have it every single week. Then at nine on Wednesday, I have my 75049 uh, project scope. So we're going to discuss what each member is going to be doing for this project. Then at 11, I have a meeting about gas measurements for T153068. 
and at 1.30 I think I have a meeting of knowledge sharing and finally on Tuesday I have a meeting about at uh, four, two o'clock I have a three problems quality issues quality issues um, meeting so these are all of the meetings I have for this week like I said quite a few of them and I have another other things that I also have to do so on Monday for example I am going to have a uh, internet guy coming in so let me just write that down internet guy is coming in I don't know at what time but he is going to be here I actually have another very important thing that I need to get done at 9 30 on Tuesday so I think I won't be able to to do most of the things that I have here and this is probably going to take a while so yeah I'm just going to write it down here that I have 9 30 I need to go to the and um, embassy for my passport actually for my citizen card so that's going to take a while and I won't be able to arrive here at the time I, I was thinking that I would anyway so I have the internet guy I have this embassy and then on the 7th I have a very important news which is um, so the family member that lives with me and my boyfriend at the moment is going to get her keys for her new apartment so she'll be moving out which is very nice for her and I think that's all of the big things that are happening during this week oh wait I also have one thing uh, on Friday which is going to be the dinner table delivery so I bought a new set for my dinner a new dinner set with table and four chairs which is probably going to be delivered here on Friday okay and last thing we need to do is just input the activities that I have at 5 30 I have swimming lessons here on Monday and on Wednesday and this is going to take one hour Okay, I think that's all. Let me see if I have anything else that I need to input here. No, I don't think so. Okay, so we're done. Now I'm going to go ahead into the dailies and we are going to input all of these information here. So let me grab my stickers, these ones and these ones, whoops, I got a lot of them, okay. Um, so I'm going to write here install internet. This is going to be one of the things that I will need to do. Then at 9 I have the design review for T3 068 Oops. There you go. At 10 I have a meeting with the client. So meeting with BB for T3068. We are going to discuss a couple of things like I commented before. At 11 I have the hazard meeting for T3068 as well. So I'm basically working a lot on this project because there are 
three tests on this project. I'm working on two of them and we are cur currently starting the third one and I need to be on top of that. And then at 5.30, I have my swimming lesson. And this is going to be one hour as well. I'm just going to use this one because I don't have any other color. I still need to print some more stickers, but I haven't got the time to do it right now. So I'm just going to use this same color here. Now, in terms of tasks, uh, for Monday, I have a couple of things that I need to do. I need to prepare for, the, for this meeting here. I need to get back into the handling revision that I thought I was going to be able to finish last month, but I wasn't able to. And let me see what else I had from the last day. So I need to check the chrono template. And I think that's all for Monday. I need to get back into things to know exactly what I have to do, but this is the idea for Monday. And I don't know yet what I have to film and edit, so I'm not going to write that yet. Now, in, on Tuesday, I have the embassy visit. Now, let me have a look where the embassy is, so I can kind of figure out how much time I need to get there. So it's not very far away. I think if I leave 15 minutes, uh, 30 minutes before I'll be there on time, which is great. And then I'll need, I think I'll need a couple, a little more time to get into the office if I go into the office. I think I'm going to use this big one here. Then at 11, I have a meeting for the workload revision for our team. So I, if I want, if I really want to go into the office this day, I, I will be able to arrive for this meeting. But honestly, I'm thinking about not going because it's not going to be worth it. I'm going to waste 30 minutes on, at least 30 minutes, actually one hour, um, going there, so I don't think it's worth it. And then at 1.30, I might have my deliverables, but I won't write it because usually we don't, we don't have this meeting. On Wednesday, I have a meeting at 9 o'clock, which is going to be the 75049 project scope, where we are going to discuss what everyone is going to be responsible for. Then at 11, I have the gas measurement um, meeting for T153068. And at 1.30, I have the knowledge sharing, which is going to be half an hour meeting. Okay, I'm going to use my last half an hour sticker from this little pack here. There you go. And then we have the one hour stickers for these meetings here. And on Wednesday, I also have my swimming lessons. So at 5.30, I have swimming. There you go. And it's going to be one hour as well. So this is all that we have for Wednesday. 
Thursday we only have one meeting, I think. So let me get into Thursday. Yeah, we have one meeting at two o'clock, which is going to be the 83 quality issues meeting, which is going to be one hour as well. Oops. There you go. And uh, Lily is getting the key on Friday. We don't have any meetings, but I need to complete the ETS. And I also need to receive the dinner, receive the dinner table. And I remember that I remembered that on Monday, I also need to check the workload just to see what I have for this month. Okay, I think we are done with planning for the week. I'm very glad I was able to do this today. Today is Sunday because this way I know exactly what I have to do tomorrow, which is Monday. <laughs> and I just get a little anxious whenever we start a new month. And especially because I was on vacation before, so I wasn't sure what I needed to do when I came back. But now I have a pretty good idea of what I need to do. I haven't yet planned for the month, which is a big mistake because I need to know exactly the deliverables that I have for the month, but this is going to be a video for another time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to leave your like and also subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.